The fourth object retrieval technique we'll talk about today is the one-way door. The one-way door is one of the most useful LEGO contraptions of all time, and one of the most popular, at least among first leg league veterans. I mean, if you go to the World Festival, you'll see pretty much every team using a one-way door for something. So first, I'm going to explain the essential principle behind the one-way door, show you how it works. Then I'm going to build eight different versions of it so you can get a good feel for how to construct your own one-way door designs. And then finally, we will talk about some advanced applications of this. So let's say that your challenge is to grab this and bring it back to base. Now, given the shape of this, the first thing you might think of is to attach a motor to the front of your robot and use a little pointy arm-like device to stab it and bring it back. That could work, of course, but the, the, uh, there are a lot of problems with this. First of all, just the fact that it uses a motor, which severely limits your strategy, especially if you're trying to combine a lot of missions together. Also, if you've watched my video on powered implements, you know that it's generally a good idea to avoid using motors unnecessarily for various reasons. This also requires a lot of precision, right? So if I don't go quite far enough, I will have missed. If I go just slightly too far, I also will have missed. So enter the one-way door, which solves this and many other problems. With the one-way door, you can basically just drive straight forward and then drive straight back. This doesn't have to be lifted at all. It doesn't have to be lifted over the edge of this because this is allowed to pass through. See, but the, the magic of the one-way door is that stuff can pass through in this direction, but nothing can pass through in this direction. It's like a semi-permeable membrane if you know your biology. <laughs> and if you don't, that's okay too. But uh, the, the, the end result is that I can pass through things, grab onto them, and drag them back. And it can happen very quickly too. So let's build one. I'm gonna grab three beams. And of course you don't have to have exactly these beams, but if you're trying to follow along as closely as possible just to be safe, this is a nine length beam and these are sevens. Now I will get two triple pegs and attach them like so. And then I'll push them all the way through so that I can attach these beams on either side, creating this little notch here. And into said notch, I will place this three by five angled beam. And then I will spear through it with an axle so that this beam can pivot inside of the notch. And then so that it doesn't all fall apart every five seconds, we will get some bushings and add bushings to either side. Now, one of the tricks with this is to not let it get too tight, because if it's too tight, then this will get stuck. And that's actually why a lot of teams will add a rubber band right here to sort of pull it together, but I'll, I'll demonstrate that later. So right now I'm just going to make sure this is sufficiently loose so that this can move freely. And we have our one-way door. Let's test it. <laughs> it works. All right, so I'm gonna build seven different variations on this now so that you can get a better feel for how it works. Uh, but first, let's talk about the bazillion different ways that you could use this. 